guys, so today we're gonna be just doing a quick video. We are outside because we're losing sunlight in the house, so we wanted to do it really quick before the sun goes down. But basically, we're gonna tell you guys some tips about traveling to Disneyland or Disney Sea or Disney at all with a baby and a toddler. Always have to change the clothes because it gets hot and sometimes kids have accidents. So it's best to have a change of clothes just in case that happens. So you don't have to go back to the hotel. Tip number two would be to rent a stroller. I know you would like to bring your own stroller. If you want to, you can still do that, but renting a stroller for us was very easy. It was only $10 a day, and we got it for two days, so that's only 20 bucks, and this guy was super happy about the stroller. Hey guys, so we made it Disney day one. We got yeah, Jordan we got the stroller. stroller. For two days, there's Minnie. Praise the Lord. Minnie. Thank God for the stroller. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. <laughs> Three is bring your own princess outfit if you have a daughter. So you'll see a lot of other little girls there dressed up. You want to have your own outfit so you don't have to spend extra money at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boot section. And plus, your little girl will feel really special at Disney if she has on her own Disney costume, which will only cost you about $30 at a Toys R Us store. Four, prepare the budget before you go. Uh, have some money in there for playroom, so because you want to buy souvenirs for people. But as well as the food there, it's super expensive. So prepare for that by setting a budget for food, so that you're not walking around the park hungry. Uh, but uh, the best thing is setting a budget is for the souvenirs at the end to pay for things to bring back to friends and family. Yes, uh, with the budget thing, we got three popsicles and it was about nine dollars and thirty cents that's almost ten dollars for three mickey and minnie mouse popsicles they're large popsicles so they were very large but very expensive so you want to make sure you have the budget to play around with that type of stuff five get a hotel close to the park why so you can go back uh with your kids when they get tired because with little kids they will get tired park it's easy to get back to your hotel so that the kids can rest uh jordan and adam fell asleep at the park so we just pushed them around in a stroller uh, while they're asleep but uh, we got lucky on that one if they're really tired they would have been really you know cranky antsy and cranky but luckily they fell asleep at the park but if not it would have been better if well actually we were prepared because we already had a hotel close to the park so get a hotel close to the park at the ambassador resort it was only like five minutes away the bus came like every 15 20 minutes so it was super easy to head back and forth to the park we stayed at the park for about four or five hours and then we went home, rested for like two, three hours, and then we came back for the parade. So the next tip is... Stay for the parade. The parade is awesome. Yes. The last parade... Not so much. So, so the, first, the, set, the yeah. parade before the last parade was really good. The parade... The one that's at night. It wasn't really that good. The one that's at night is not that great, it was but... Boring. I mean, if your kid's interested in lights and really likes the lights, then go ahead and do and that. And in Japan, they only do uh, fireworks after September, so. Right, so we were we went to the parade expecting to see fireworks. It wasn't there, so do your research. <laughs> okay. Next is save money by taking your own pictures with the characters. So it will cost you about $15 to take a picture professionally with the character, but if you just bring your cell phone, you know, you always have it on you, they will be more than happy to take the picture. Decide what you're there for, whether it's uh, rides or just to experience the park via the attractions there, like the big volcanoes, the characters, or the food, or just the shows. Because uh, you can't go for shows and rides, you're not going to have enough time to do it all. So pick one, either shows or ride. Uh, that will benefit you in the end and your kids will be happy because at this age they're too young to know anyway. So uh, it's mainly keeping them, managing them, keeping them happy. Happy for their memories, so don't worry about that. And then for a tip for nursing moms, uh, if you are a nursing mom, go ahead and bring your cover and nurse wherever you want to because that made this trip really easy feeding this little guy under his nursing cover um, throughout the park. I didn't have to worry about making a bottle. So for watching, sorry this video was a little all over the place. Uh, we just tried to do it really quickly before we lost our sunlight. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs> you say adios, Jordan. Adios, guys. Bye guys, bye. Bye.